Hey, welcome back to SparksNet. Today we're taking a free personality test by 16 personalities or nearest type explorer to find out what person I really am. I don't really know what to expect, but it should be fun. The rules are, takes less than 12 minutes, answer honestly even if you don't like the answer, and try not to leave any neutral answers. So I guess this middle part is the halfway point between either of them, so that would be the neutral answer. You find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people. Yeah, I agree with that a little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of shy. You often get so lost in thoughts that you ignore or forget your surroundings. Oh, I heavily agree with that. I, dreamy, I daydream all the time, especially in school, which is not a bad thing, but I'll or it, it is a bad thing, but I'll own up to it. You try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a messy inbox. Uh, no, that doesn't really bother me. I mean, when there's like 5,000 emails, yeah, I'm gonna mark them as red, but it doesn't really bother me to have a messy inbox. You find it easy to stay relaxed even when there is some pressure. Well, in some areas I do, but in more extreme cases I don't. So I'm just gonna go slightly agree. You do not usually initiate conversations. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I'm usually the kind of quiet one. You rarely do something just out of sheer curiosity. Absolutely. I want to see how things are. You feel superior to other people. Absolutely not. Well, I say no, but I'm I'm on the border of being confident and um still having things that, you know, bother me. So, I guess just middle disagree. Being organized is more important to you than being adaptable. Mm, no, slightly disagree. You're usually highly motivated and energetic. I'm usually high motivated. You, As a YouTuber, you kind of have to be because if you're not highly motivated, you won't film videos and you can't put yourself out there, you know? So, I'm not, I'm not extremely energetic, but eh, slightly agree, yeah. Winning a debate matters less to you than making sure no one gets upset. Uh, yeah. I strongly agree. Care about people's feelings. You often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. I justify what needs justification, so I'll agree with it slightly. Your home and work environments are quite tidy. Uh, my home environment isn't tidy but my work is pretty so uh, kind of disagree yeah you do not mind being at the center of attention no I mean I record myself and put it on the internet you kind of don't you kind of can't be that way you consider yourself more practical than creative I disagree with that but I still do value I still do value knowledge so I will leave that one bubble unchecked. People can rarely upset you. Um crap. They can upset me easily, but it seems more natural to put you know, middle of the way. Middle of the way. Sorry about the rules, but your travel plans are usually well thought out. I don't make my travel plans, but my parents usually think them out well. So, yeah, I'll agree with that. They don't have a schedule, though, so I will i won't strongly agree. Is it often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings? No, I can read people uh, pretty well. Your mood can change very quickly. It takes a lot for me to get mad, but for me to be happy, no, no, I disagree with that. It takes a while for me to change moods. In a discussion, truth should be more important 
than people's sensitivities. No. You rarely worry about how your actions affect other people. Yeah, I agree with that. I gotta work on that. Your style, your work style is closer to random energy spikes than to a methodical and organized approach. Um, it used to be, but now I'm on a schedule, so I'll say, uh, disagree a little bit. You're envious of others, often. No, not often. But some people have jobs that I'm like, oh yeah, that, that'd be super cool. An interesting book or video game is often better than a social event. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been any. I haven't been to Comic Con or VidCon or anything, so I don't have any experience with that. But I mean, I agree. Sometimes being able to develop a plan and stick to it—it's the most important part of every project. If you're if you're doing a project, you probably shouldn't wing it. So I'll say. Middle agree. You rarely get carried away by fantasies and ideas. No, strongly disagree. You often find yourself lost in thought when you are walking with nature. I agree with that. If someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying if you said something wrong. No. I... If they don't respond in like a couple of days, then yeah, because I won't mark that box, but not usually. As a parent, you would rather see your child grow up kind than smart. Yes, but smarts is, being smart is an important feature too. You do not let other people influence your actions. That is complete bullcrap. I put polls on Instagram all the time. When you sleep, your dreams tend to focus on the real world and its events. <laughs> No, my dreams tend to focus on being in the world of Arthur and flying around as Falcon from the Avengers. It does not take you much time to start getting involved in social activities at your new workplace. I don't have a job, never have, so I'll change workplace to school. It does not take you much time to start getting involved in social activities at your new school. I have to mark it middle of the road because I've never changed schools. You're more of a natural improviser than a careful planner. Well, I don't have a script for the videos I do. I have never have. But I don't, I, I don't plan them out. But if you're working on something that is schoolwork or... Huh, I agree with that a little bit. Your emotions control you more than you control them. Uh, no, I disagree with that. You enjoy going to social events that involve dress up or role play activities. I've never been, but if it's like a costume party, uh, yeah, kinda. You often spend time exploring unrealistic and practical yet intriguing ideas. I explore it, I just don't act. You would rather improvise than spend time coming up with a detailed plan. Yeah, I agree with that. You're relatively reserved and a quiet person. Heavily agree. I don't talk much at all, except on camera. If you have a business, you would find it very difficult to fire loyal but underperforming employees. I disagree with that. If they're underperforming, I kind of have to. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence. All the time. I think about that a lot. Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. No. Keeping your, opin keeping your options open is more important than having a to-do list. Yeah, I agree with that. If your friend is sad about something, you are more likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to deal with the problem. Mm, 
Yeah. Yeah. I'll support them emotionally. Because most times I don't even know how to deal with it. You rarely feel insecure. Um, nah, I'm pretty confident sometimes though, so I'll, I'll, I'll agree a little bit. You have no difficulties coming up with a personal timetable and sticking to it. No, I disagree with that. It's kind of hard. Being right is more important than being cooperative when it comes to teamwork. If you're like an engineer and you're working with a team to build a bridge or, you know, build a rocket, work on rocket science, being right is really important, but so is teamwork. But being right can save lives, so I agree a little bit. You agree that everyone's views should be respected, regardless of whether they are supported by facts or not. Yeah, I agree with that. You feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. Depends on what group of people. I'd just say kinda. You frequently misplace your things. All the time. I put a remote in the refrigerator once. We don't talk about that. You see yourself as very emotionally stable. Uh, yeah. Your mind is always buzzing with unexplored ideas and plans. Yeah, I think of the future a lot. You would not call yourself a dreamer. Absolutely disagree. You usually find it, you usually find it difficult to relax when talking in front of many people. No, I disagree with that. It's the same as talking in front of a, you know, a crowd of three people, except there's more people. Generally speaking, you rely more on your experience than your imagination. Um, I'm young, so I haven't had much experience. You know what? Yeah, if I have experience in something, I don't want to make it up, but if I don't, then I can, you know, do a logical guess. You worry too much about what other people think. Yeah, I agree with that. If the room is full, you stay closer to the walls, avoiding the center. Nah. You have a tendency to procrastinate until there's not enough time to do everything. I disagree with that. You feel very anxious in stressful situations. I have clinical anxiety, but it's gotten a lot better over the years, and now I don't feel... Yeah, it, it's normal for people to be stressed in those situations. You believe that it's more rewarding to be liked by others to, than to be powerful. Oh, yeah. Never want to be Hitler, guys. You want... You have always been interested in uh, unconventional and ambiguous things. Ergo, in books, movies, or art. Yeah. You often take initiative in social situations. Like I act as the leader or the person that gives ideas. Yeah, but I don't have to, so I won't check that box. I am a campaigner. Almost right down the middle with mind. Uh, extroverted 57%, introverted 43%. This trait determines how we interact with our environment. The energy this trait shows where we direct our mental energy. So I'm 76% intuitive and 24% observant. Yeah, I agree with that. Nature, this trait determines how we make decisions and cope with emotions. 76% other people's feelings and logic is 24%. Yeah, because each one is more important, but if you speak the truth, you might hurt other people's feelings, if that makes any sense. Um, this trait reflects your approach to work, planning, and decision making. So, huh. I'm 42% judging 
and 58% pros... I'm not clear on what that means, but all right. Uh, identity trait underpins all others, showing how confident we are in our abilities and decisions. So I'm kind of down the middle. I'm 56% assertive and 44% turbulent. Yeah. I mean, it, th this is pretty accurate. The campaigner personality is a true free spirit. They're often the life of the party, but unlike, unlike types of the explorer rule group, Campaigners are less interested in the sheer excitement and pleasure of the moment than they are enjoying the social and emotional connections they made with others. That's me. Charming, independent, charming, independent energetic, and compassionate. The 7% of the population that they comprise can certainly be felt in any crowd. This is a really flattering test. More than just sociable people pleasers, though. Campaigners, like all their diplomat cousins, are shaped by their intuitive quality, allowing them to read between the lines with curiosity and energy. Yeah, I work things out with logic, which I guess was 24, I think, percent. They tend to see life as a big, complex puzzle where everything is connected, but unlike analyst personality types, who tend to see that puzzle as a series of systematic machinations. Campaigners see it through a prism of emotion, compassion, and mysticism, and are always looking for a deeper meaning. Sometimes there isn't one, but I agree with that for the most part. Campaigners are fiercely independent, and much more than stability and security, they, create, they crave creative creativity and freedom and obviously they can't read. Many other types are likely to find those qualities irresistible and if they've found a cause that sparks their imagination, campaigners will bring an energy that sometimes thrusts them into the spotlight held up by their peers as a leader and a guru. But this isn't always where independence loving campaigners want to be. Worse still if they find themselves beset by the administrative tasks and routine maintenance that can accompany a leadership position. A campaigner's self-esteem is dependent on their ability to come up with original solutions, and they need to know that they have freedom to be in innovative. Yeah, they can quickly lose patience or become dejected if they get trapped in a boring role. Yeah, that's me. I if I, if something's boring, I get very very. <clears throat> um, bored, I guess. Don't lose that little creator spark of madness. Luckily, campaigners know how to relax, and they are perfectly capable of switching from a passionate, driven idealist in the workplace to that imaginative and th enthusiastic free spirit on the dance floor, often with a suddenness that can surprise even their closest friends. Being in the mix also gives them a chance to connect emotionally with others, giving them cherished insight into what motivates their friends and colleagues. They believe that everyone should take the time to recognize and express their feelings, and their empathy and sociability make that a natural conversation topic. The campaigner personality type needs to be careful. However, if they rely too much on their intuition, assume or anticipate too much about a friend's motivations, they can misread the signals and frustrate plans that a more straightforward approach would have made simple. This kind of social stress is the bugbear that keeps harmony-focused diplomats awake at night. Campaigners are very emotional and sensitive, yep, and when they step on someone's toes, they both feel it. Campaigners will spend a lot of time exploring social relationships, feelings, and ideas before they find something that really rings true. But when they do finally find their place in the world, their imagination, empathy, and courage are likely to produce incredible results. Here are some campaigners you might know. Robert Downey Jr., Will Smith, Robin Williams, ooh, Drew Barrymore, uh, Russell Brand, Qu uh, Quentin Tarantino, Meg Ryan, Kelly Clarkson, Michael Scott from The Office, uh, Never Watch Modern Family, Piper Chapman, uh, never seen Firefly, Hita, Jennifer Keller, 
uh, Carrie Bradshaw, Willy Wonka. Campaigner strengths. They're curious, observant, energetic, and enthusiastic, excellent communicators. They know how to relax, and they're very popular and friendly. That last one, um, I'd like to think I'm friendly, but I am not popular at all. My weaknesses are poor practical skills. Yep. Find it difficult to focus, sometimes. Overthink things, absolutely. Get stressed easily, yep. Highly emotional, not really a weakness. And dependent to a fault. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's basically just me. Few personality types are as creative and charismatic as campaigners. Their enthusiasm and vivid imagination allow campaigners to overcome many challenging obstacles, more often than not brightening the lives of those around them campaigners creativity is invaluable in many areas including their own personal growth yep <laughs> that's me wow i did not expect that that is actually really accurate that's a really good quiz well anyways guys if you liked it please give it a thumbs up share it down below on your favorite social media thanks so much for watching and bye